TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy. With your hosts, Pablo Gunner, the Ambassador, and Marvin Goof, yo. And we're here to talk nerdy to you, as we have been for the last 13 years talking about comics, video games, movies, shows, all the nerd stuff, because we want to save you the time. We don't want you to waste your time. We want you to put your time into the best of the best. So we're willing to waste our time so you don't have to. So we're going to be covering Knuckles. Did you guys watch Knuckles? Oh, no. I haven't had a chance to I, yet. No. <laughs> I sadly didn't even watch Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So I had to. So, what? So, you gotta fix yourself. So <laughs> I. Coming from this guy. So what I ended up having to do that. was I had to watch Sonic the Hedgehog oh, 2. No, you don't. Which I, I watched and I was like, wow, this is actually a really good movie. Yeah. Why I didn't I watch it? Yes. It, like, it, was it is good. Really it's solid. Good. And the way they portrayed Knuckles was just so good. I oh, was like, yeah. no wonder why they did a Knuckles series because he just. They, I feel like they portrayed him. And voiced them better in the movie than they do in the games. Mm. Because uh, Knuckle tries to sound badass in the games. But really he's not. Mm. I like the whole idea of he's a muscle head. Does mm -hmm. that. Like yes. the voice of a muscle head. Because that fits uh, better. Idris Elba does such a good character. job with the voice. Oh god yeah. Oh my yeah gosh, just such great. a good combination. Where... Yeah, if you haven't watched it, it's worth watching. It's really good. And, of course, you get the cheesy, kiddish Tells voice, which you just kind of learn to deal with when you're on Sonic. <laughs> but, but the Sonic, but, like, Sonic was good, and then uh, they hinted at the end with uh, with Keanu Reeves' character in the third one. I'll just put it that way, Keanu Reeves' character. Oh, I can't wait. I can't it wait. It should be good. It's going to be interesting. We're actually going to get to... Like, besides Sega Genesis games, a Sonic game with a good plot. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sonic Adventure, no. Oh. But Sonic Adventure 2, yes. <laughs> it actually has, like, a good viable plot. But I feel like they need to get the rights to some DBZ music and they can keep it the same final battles before. <laughs> because it literally, like, if you play the end of Sonic Adventure 2, it literally looks like a Super Saiyan uh, Sonic and a Super Saiyan Shadow fighting the final boss. Nice. <laughs> Eggman on the comms helping you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> because, yeah, it gets so messed up that even Eggman's like, ah, shit, we're screwed. <laughs> okay, what can I do for you, Sonic? Because <laughs> I would rather live than not live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, but yeah, like you said, uh, Keanu Reeves, they, they put it out, it's out there. The news is that Keanu Reeves is going to be playing Shadow in Sonic 3. So. Good voice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, it's. And so the, the the Knuckles series, it's on Paramount Plus. I'm gonna say this up front: Paramount Plus to me is the worst app that I've ever used. It, it, it's it's awful. But going forward from that, like this is a solid series. It's six episodes. It kind of just feels like a long movie. It feels like they filmed it and they're like, well, we don't want to cut any of the footage. Let's just turn it into a series instead of a movie because it could have been like, it could have been its own movie really. But like, yeah, it played out pretty good through. Uh, as a series and then works in that same story so the the sheriff or deputy or whatever that's in that he essentially because knuckles is like i don't have anything to do now and 
he ends up becoming like training that deputy to become like a warrior. And it's <laughs> because, because what do the greatest warriors do and how do they keep themselves sharp? Is they train, train people, people, right? Absolutely. They teach. That's what they end up doing is when they reach that level and they go, what, what's left? Oh, I'll train other people. And so it works for both of them. That's this great relationship. I like that they just like brought everyone back from the movie yeah. for the show because... I, that was one thing I was worried about. Then I started watching the trailers after watching Sonic the Hedgehog 2 with that fresh in my mind. I was like, oh, wow. wow well done. Okay. I'm yeah, yeah I was now. impressed. I thought it was going to be cheap because, cheaply done because it's a series. Mm -hmm. No, it keeps that same quality of the movies. And uh, they have, like, the mom is Rizzo from, you know, Greece. As, <laughs> as she's the mom of, of, of that deputy wow. and stuff. And then the, her his dad is, once again... The guy that that's from Princess Bride, Robin Hood, men tights, that dude. Uh, oh, Carrie Ellis. Carrie Ellis. So yeah. he's so he's great. Mm. So it's and then they even have uh, what's his name from Game of Thrones, a uh, dog, and he's the main villain, and he used to work for uh, Eggman, and so he makes his own mech to fight against Knuckles. It's awesome. It's way oh, awesomer wow. than I thought it would be or or should be, and it's not like the the greatest absolutely greatest thing. Like it's cheesy, can be dumb, but. The kids watched it. They enjoyed it. We all had a good time watching it. So it was a pretty easy watch and like binge in one day. Oh, cool. So I I won't say that it's like an absolutely must see, but it's most definitely worth checking out for sure. Yeah, I mean, I would imagine it would have to be cheesy. I mean, come on. Sonic the Hitchhog 1 and 2 had like yeah. 90s Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so. I loved every minute of the Jim Carrey on there. Jim Carrey pretty much retired now, which is good because some of his later stuff was kind of weird. But <laughs> but his uh, Sonic the Hedgehog portrayal, Doctor Robotnik, he can keep that coming all day long. Yeah, Agreed. it's Absolutely. so wonderful and perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> so we have our merch that we're sporting. Uh, I have the Fallout stuff which might be going away off the site after this month because we're going to be reducing our site to only 100 products. So this is probably going to be going away because this is merch of the month. After that, it's, it might be going away completely. I mean, if you still want it, we'll, we'll find a way to get it to you. We can make that happen. But it's not going to be on sale because this is the only time that it's going to be on sale with free shipping. By Grabthar's Hammer. What a saving. Uh, which is the, it's the vats, and then it says, so you're telling me there's a chance, like from Dumb and Dumber, <laughs> from that meme. Uh, so I love it. And there's all kinds of shirts. This is the tank top, and this is a small, which works for me. And then I also have the X-Men hoodie, uh, which I love, and, and it's so great. It's not too heavy. Um, this is a medium, and uh, it, fits, it fits pretty good. Um, and then of course I have the I have these Ninja Turtle shorts and then I got my um, my Mortal Kombat socks which I don't even know if we're gonna we're probably gonna get rid of a lot a lot of stuff like I said we have to reduce our store a lot so it's it's a lot of this stuff is going away but if you want it hit us up for it and we'll I'll even hook people up with codes if they if they want just just codes. message us but yeah just message let us. us know and we can we can find a way to make it available for you to purchase it yeah it's yeah. not a problem at all. I'm rocking my uh, Talk Nerdy to Me Ninja Turtles shirt. Probably one of our best shirts we have here. Live, laugh, love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's just awesome. <laughs> and yes, that is Star Trek font right there. And I adore it. It makes me happy. Yes, so, and we yeah. have other ones. <laughs> I have, there's another one that says Live Long and Prosper. There's also another one that has the uh, Spock quote that he says to... Uh, to Kirk when he's dying. Um, so, uh, yeah. But I almost felt like maybe we should have gotten him the, the shirt or be like, you know what, you guys switch shirts. You know, like, because this guy's spitting the... But this is the ambassador. That's why he, he has the nerd knowledge. That's why we call him the ambassador. My so, parents are Trekkies. He's so, he knows this stuff. So, <laughs> that's, yeah. That's how I know. My parents are Trekkies. So you just have to know that kind of stuff growing up in a Trekkie household. Mm. So, but yeah, uh, and once again, you know, we're going to do the shout-outs. Shout-outs always to Atticus as our number one shout-out. And then uh, we have Amerame Media, 
as well as others. M M uh, MK Jekyll and Hyde makes uh, comics. They're phenomenal. I love their inspirational posts. And uh, yeah, we have uh, we have. Don't we have another one that? Oh yeah, uh, we're still working on getting a collaboration with them. But the horror fiend. I was talking to one of the main guys that runs it, and uh, yeah, they 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 do mostly like horror movie type of stuff, and then they're gonna do a nerdy nerdy uh, channel as well. So it's great to see them joining that. Uh, uh, one of one of the guys that's heading it, he, he used to work at a comic book shop, so I think uh, he's gonna have a really good perspective on nerdy things. Oh Excellent. yeah. Yeah, I I, remember, I see. I feel like I see him at all the cons too, or I usually see him at the cons. So. Well, for New Mexico Comic Expo, he was head of security. For oh, okay. Life. There you go. That's that's why. There we go. Wow. So, <laughs> all right, cool. I did fail to mention too that five percent of our profit goes to a charity of the month. We have a different charity of the month for the month, every single month. Uh, for Abril, it is Autism Speaks, and then for. Mayo, it's going to be national. Uh, it's the the it's Nami is what it is, but it's it's mental because it's Mental Health Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. It's related to that, so that's what we're going to be uh, donating to for next month. So uh, I believe that's it for us, right? Yeah, that is. All right, cool. So talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, planet Earth. Keep it real. Keep it nerdy, man. <laughs>